wanted to get your take on this Ariel Helwani situation. What did you think about his tweet? What did you think about Tony's tweet? What do you think about him working for WWE and still trying to interview Tony? Like that whole thing. Like I've been, I, I, I held him to a much higher standard, even going back to what didn't he do? Uh, he did something for the Matt Riddle Seth match like last year. And I was like, this guy, like he needs to pick a lane here. And he picked the lane. He's like, if I'm he doing did. wrestling, I'm a character. If I'm doing MMA, I'm, you know, a reporter. So that that's his lane. I, I'm fine with it. I am. I was more bothered when that line was blurred than I am today because it's he's just leaned in. He's just like, yeah, I'm getting paid by WWE. So be it. So now at least I know where to draw the line. But a lot of people seem to be much more frustrated with him based off of his uh tweet with tony i guess because you know it, the tweet was definitely out of line but just wanted to get your thoughts on it well i mean this this all started when he had tony on the show and i think he went online and he said that it wasn't tony wasn't a good interview because he wouldn't give him crap right wasn't that he well he wouldn't answer the cm punk question he wouldn't he wouldn't answer the cm punk question and the response was well you had hunter on but you didn't ask him about vince and his response was well he wouldn't answer me if, even if i asked <laughs> so yeah. i mean listen I, it's gray, right? It's all gray because he doesn't cover wrestling, but he has wrestlers on and he discusses wrestling. I, I, I understand his point, but I also think, listen, you can't, you can't throw shade at Tony for not wanting to answer a CM Punk question when you wouldn't even dare ask the question about Vince because you know what the answer is, right? Tony was an easy target for you rather than the big, big WWE machine. Yeah, but, but that's at said, the same time, you know, at the, at, the, at the same time, if I, I, who is not, I'm, I'm not even close to that situation, but I've, I know I've been watching Ariel's career for a long time. And I sort of had that question. I, I don't know if I was Tony, if I would have gone on the show, like, you know, where is this thing going? Like, wh what are we going to do? You are working for the other team here. Is yeah. it of my best interest? It's like, if, um, it's like if Tony went on McAfee, right? It'd sort of be the same thing. Like McAfee course, works yeah. for WWE. How, you know, so I know Tony, you know, probably thought it would be good press for them, but it, it didn't turn out the way that he wanted it, I I'm guessing. But here's the other thing. And I think I I know Tony a little bit because I've been able to interview him a couple times with Dave. And so, you know, when you know someone, you, you tend to give them a little bit of the benefit of the doubt because you kind of know them a little bit. But I think the thing that I was disappointed in is, uh, you know, Tony's the boss, right? Tony's very successful. His family is uber successful. AEW, he took it from nothing, you know, with help of, of some really good talent to where it is today. And I just want him to act like it, you know, like act. I get like what you mean. Yeah. Because, like, like imagine uh, your CEO of your company just lashing out at a random reporter because the reporter is on television and yeah. calling that person a fraud. It was almost like, did you expect Ariel to play patty cake with you? What did you expect him to do? Like, I, I was sort of saying, you know, you, you know, the, the saying is, is, you know, don't start nothing, won't be nothing. And Tony was like, oh, like this is the response? Yeah, the response is out of way, line, 100%. What, what the hell did Tony Schiavone do to get murdered like that? <laughs> what the hell did Tony do? You know what Tony did to get murdered by that? To say, <laughs> what? You're, you're right, Taz. You're right, Excalibur. You're absolutely you're right. right, Taz. You're absolutely right, Excalibur. That's his analysis. I, I would say, um, listen, I wouldn't have taken that approach. Right. I, I, what Tony did. But, you know, at a certain point. Yeah, I, I think we all see some of the crap that Tony gets online. And oh, yeah. when you have the following that he does, it becomes exhausting. It becomes exhausting. And I know the people some people's answer is, well, he's in media. He's on TV. He owns this promotion. It comes with the territory. It shouldn't, though. It shouldn't come with the territory. There are people that are insane. I'm not talking about cri being critical. I'm not being constructive. Uh, con constru I'm not talking about constructive criticism. I'm not talking about being critical. I'm not talking about making jokes. They're just jokes. unfair. There, no, there are 
insane people that are yeah. tweeting this guy. And the same thing goes for any WWE talent or any AEW talent. The most insane, insulting things. So at one point, you know, you're gonna you're gonna lose it. Was should Ariel have been the guy? I don't think so. Uh, but you know, they both have a good argument as I'm to sure, what, I'm sure what's going on the, here. There, there's a relationship behind the scenes that we don't know about. The Absolutely. WWE folks are probably, you know, being unfair. And, and at the end of the day, for me, I just think Tony can't be the top marketer, the top PR person, no. the head of creative, do all the interviews. Like, he, he can't be that person. Um, he leans into the Twitter stuff, too. If you post something that he doesn't like... He's gonna go into your into your mentions and 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 just do hashtag ratio and blow up your stuff. Like he's not yeah. he's not you're just an innocent bystander here. He knows the game. I, I would just like to see, you know, we we heard about a lot of the things that Vince did later in his career, but when Twitter was there, Vince didn't really he wasn't out there with the Twitter fingers, right? He was like rarely he'd only tweet certain things. Um, you know, back in the day, back in the day, yeah, Vince was out there wild and out and, and he would get called out on it, you know, for, for that. But, you know, the other thing that, you know, uh, Dave, uh, Dave Meltzer keeps talking about the wrestling war. And, you know, I'm doing this thing where I'm going back to uh, 1996 and I'm John LaRock and I are doing something for our Patreon where we're just like covering WCW 96. So I'm reading through all of the old observers. And I'm going to read a passage for you that is crazy to me. So this is early 1996. This is, I'm quoting uh, the, the wrestling observer from, I think it's early February. He said, Dave writes, McMahon then attempted to purchase ad space in both the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal with a photo of Ted Turner and in large bold print saying, attention stockholders, the copy read, has Ted Turner lost $40 million of your money in his personal vendetta against the World Wrestling Federation? Where are these losses reported in TBS financial statements? Both papers turned down the ad, although a modified version of the ad was later accepted by the Times and was expected to run in the financial section on February the 7th. Like, that is way Rockers. worse than what we have now. Oh, yeah. Like, that's ridiculous. But, but, you know... But, you know what did what did Vince know that most people didn't to want to put that out there, right? Like we know about their PNLs and how they moved money from one department to another. You know, like yeah, we know that that was the Turner uh, PNLs uh, were wacky. Uh, things weren't accounted for. You know, if you ask Eric, uh, they made way more money than it was disclosed because of the way that it was positioned. And then you ask other people, it was way less. Um, Vince probably knew this. And the same goes for exactly what you just said. You know, what does Tony know about what's being said about him? Yeah. And absolutely. what Ariel has said about him. I could tell you, I hear the conversations, what's said about Tony, and it's insane. A lot yeah, of it. Totally. So not positive. Totally. And that plays a big part because guess who ends up hearing that stuff? Executives at Warner. Sure. Right? Sure. Uh, it, it I, I won't go into detail, but I mean, these are things that happen all the time. So Tony losing his mind. I get it. Would I? No, I wouldn't. I would have a little bit more public decorum on social media, but that's me. I don't want to sit there and fight with people, but Tony maybe yeah. does. And good for Tony if he wants to sit there and fight with the internet. I don't know. I mean, in, in some weird way, he probably <laughs> thinks that doing so just creates more interest in his product. And, yeah, sure. you know, getting Ariel's got a lot of followers. Tony's got a lot of followers. It just it just brings it to more people's attention on Twitter. So I totally get that. And if so be it, so be it. I just think that it's kind of a bad look. Like not all press to me is positive. Like I, negative press, I think could make your company look bad. But again, like that, that may not be what, what they think. You may think, oh, wrestling business, everything, anything goes. So 